The purpose of this video is to share with you my experience of trying to find the best and most accurate temperature humidity sensor. These are the products I tested and um, you'll see the range of uh, accuracies from the most accurate, the SI7051 for temperature down through to the uh, Dallas Semiconductor 18B20. Connected it all together um, as follows. There's a connection diagram coming and it uses the SPI bus for the display and the I2C bus for the devices. I'll put the diagram into the GitHub uh, repository but essentially all the I2C bus devices are in parallel and then there's two separate bus arrangements for the Dallas Semiconductor and the DHT22 device and the display there on the left uses the um, SPI bus. There's the examples running and, and I've taken the temperature in reference to be the SI7051 and the DHT SHT31D as the humidity reference. These are a cheap module I got off eBay that cost UK £1. There's another couple there, one with and one without an external sensor you'll see the temperature correlation is actually very good on those but not so good on the humidity and those are the sensors clustered together um, in the same vicinity. So 22.4 degrees Celsius and 54.6% um, relative humidity in my reference points. This is a chart showing the accuracy of the devices for temperature and humidity and um, couldn't find many uh, sensors with humidity but um, that SHT31D is coming out as the best all-rounder so far. So that's what I've chosen as the reference point. Um, that's what I've measured in my test uh, for both temperature and humidity and I've included those two cheap modules just so you can see the difference but they're very good on temperature and this chart shows the range of accuracy values for each device and I've overlaid a standard distribution just to give an idea of where everything fits and a pretty good correlation on temperature and um, not quite so good for the DHT22 device in the centre but overall not bad for the three humidity sensors. Uh, so each device should be around about the centre of the distribution with a few outliers for each one at the uh, the maximum of the accuracy like um, you know plus 0.2 percent rather than plus 0.05 percent. So there you have it and um, there's a, another demonstration of this test module running and you decide but I think on balance the SHT31D is my best all-round device.